hello and welcome to Rebel Unicorn Crafts. Today I'm going to be swatching these castle watercolors. I have been looking for a relatively inexpensive set of paints, especially now that I can't find my Shinhan ones to replace them, so I found these because they were around the same price range with about the same number of colors. I got mine on Amazon for about $22 for 24 of these tubes. The packaging was fairly nice, nothing necessarily to write home about, but fairly nice. And the one little feature of these I did like is they come completely sealed. You actually have to burst the seal, and that gives me more confidence in them being fresh by the time I actually get to use them. Since we've got 24 colors, I am going to majorly speed this up because I know that your time is precious. For all of these, I will be doing a four swatch system. The first one, I just try to get the entire thing covered in as much of the color as I can. The second, I do a gradient. The third one, I put a bunch of color down and then I lift as well as I drop some water in to see how it blooms. And the fourth one, I add it to a wet area so that I can see that pigment, how it spreads. This started off pretty okay. I mean, white gouache is sometimes not super opaque and I'm okay with that because I don't use it a ton. The first three yellows were pretty decent. The yellow ochre wasn't as good as I typically like and I was seeing that they were not as vibrant as some of my other colors, but they weren't bad. Total side note, I do not like it when colors use flesh as the name of a color. Peach or beige, please, please not flesh. <laughs> this cadmium orange was pretty good, and then things kind of started to go downhill from here. As you can tell, this grenadine, I like the name of that one, but it's a little schmeary and it's not too pigmented. And then it was the same thing with that vermilion. It's more schmeary and very unsaturated as far as the color goes. And this continued on for most of the rest of the colors. And another thing I'm seeing in these is there's a lot of granulation in a lot of these schmeary type colors um, that I don't mind some granulation, but there were a few of these once we got into the blues, where the granulation was like nothing I had ever seen before. It not only kind of granulated, but there were these little balls in them, little like sand grains that completely separated out. I have a separate clip at the very end of this video where I can show you more of that. And unfortunately, we didn't really reverse back to the first few where it seemed like they were pretty decent quality. It seemed like this trend of there being minimal pigment, there being way too much granulation, or them being more smeary than actually paint-like. And um, I guess one good thing I can say about these is they did lift pretty well, so if you really like lifting and don't care too much about pigment, then these ones would be pretty good. I mean, I could paint with some of these, but I do a lot of skies and there wasn't really a usable blue. The cerulean was the closest but it was more of an opaque color and I don't really like working with opaque skies. The other blues not only lacked pigment but they had this granulation. You can see here I kind of pulled this out and really thinned it down and look at those little nodules. You'll see them in just a second here. I don't know what's happening. It's almost like little tiny pieces of sand or something in this. So let's dive into my actual rating for price and value. I'm gonna give them three out of 10 Moogies because I think you can get a lot better for around the same price. The quality, I'm gonna give them one. There were way too many that were not good quality in here. It wasn't so much separation like on my other tests where I saw the Koi and it was a quality type issue or manufacturing type issue. This just, they were just poor quality. They're going to get their highest uh, rating of 5 out of 10 Moogies for accessibility at, because you can buy these on Amazon and most people have access to Amazon, but that's the only place I saw them available. They're getting a 1 out of 10. There is no real uniqueness or wow factor unless you like those little beads. And then usability, I'm going to give them four because you could use these, but there are some unique challenges with this that are going to make them really hard to get a usable product. The overall rating these are going to get are 2.8 Moogies out of 10, and I would recommend buying something else. Find a cheaper set with less colors, 
don't waste your money on this one. If you want to see more testing videos where I test out different variables for fluid painting, want to see any watercolor tutorials or some other art supply testing, subscribe to my channel. Or if you just want to see some of the art that I create, it's really varied. You can follow me either at Lacey Walker Art or at Rebel Unicorn Crafts on Instagram or Rebel Unicorn Crafts on TikTok where I make some, some funny videos as well as some tool talk videos. And I hope that you have a magically creative day.